a bell. Yeah, Hello. how you doing? Yeah, yeah, hi. Oh, hi. Good, yeah, we're all, we're all here. We're, out, we're out going to um, lots of people's doors. How long have you lived here? Over 40 years now. Do you think maybe something like this that brings people together, like out on their doorsteps again, might be positive? It is indeed positive, yeah. I'm one of those guys that I, I love to know my community, love to be part of community and get together and sort things out while we need it, so yeah. That's my youngest daughter. Hi. Hi. Yes, yeah, so Walthamstow girl. Yeah, yeah. Lips cross. Do you know, my name is E.J. as I said. Years ago, I'm moving to Walthamstow and I've started work a company called Gillard in Walthamstow. They used to pie and sausages. Oh, cool. And they called me Ali. Just out of blue, Ali. Oh, and right. that's all my name, say Ali. Oh right, so so they called you that. Maybe that's slightly racist of them to do that. Do you think? Well, again, what is the racism? There is everyone's have it. It's one-sided at the moment. If we're going to get rid of it, people have to change. We have to change as well. There are things that you have to compromise. I don't have a problem with anybody. What race? What nationality? What faith? We're all human, and I care for people, and off. I don't have any problem. There are times I'm down market, when I was a young man, someone would call me a packy. Right? Honestly, it didn't bother me. And next day I'll see, uh, mate, Sam Packy here. Do you want to say hello to me? And do you know we got friends? And I said, okay, fine, you don't like me. Why have I done wrong? I'm working, I've got a family to look after. And do you know all of those guys, they're my mates now. So it's, it's not one-sided, it just, yeah. it what, matters, it matters of course, but. What do you think of your dad's feelings about that? You agree with him that it's not, it, it's two-sided? Say your, say whatever you want to say, don't ever say because I'm standing here. And it's just, it's so normalised, like in schools as well, people just start normalising, making fun of accents, etc. like that, and it's just not talked about enough. Mm -hmm. So you don't. So you think that racism is still very alive in Britain? Yeah. Yeah. Even on the street, on, on yeah. the street where we are now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we have a problem. I'm not denying that. Mm. We're here. This is our country. We're here to stay here, and we have to do something as well. We have to act. We have to get together. Let people understand. Like for example, you guys met me. Now you didn't know who I was. Now you feel a bit comfortable. Yeah. The next time it'd be better. And that's the way you get rid of the problems to get to know each other. Yeah, one, one doorstep at a time. <laughs> it's quite Our society is so individual based and everyone's so alienated and, and the sort of effects that that has on mental health. But doing something like this, I mean, even just today, yeah. that was amazing. Because it's not like I, I know those neighbours to say hello to, but to actually have a chat, it's like I found out more in five minutes than I have in the whole 20 odd years, yeah. you know, that I've been living here. Well, that's one of the nice things that a lot of people are speaking to each other now that you might not have otherwise. It's bringing the community together, that's the idea as well. So we have this big net, like an ecosystem of local organisations that are kind of working for equality really or social justice so even the local football team and the, the energy efficiency survey people and the food bank. I think it's a really good idea that you are thinking of bringing solar panels here. That outcome's good for all of us, and due to that outcome, we're all going to just have a longer life, because I'm quite sure they um, were assuming by 2030 that there might be the end of the world. Oof. So by solar panels, it's like um, pushing back that years, if that makes sense. So you're really worried that the, like the cri crisis is so big? That, are you really worried that it could be the end of the world? Yeah, it, it could be. It could be. Really Climate change is like a huge thing, and it's people don't do enough about it. They think about it. They say, "Oh, this and that," but they don't do anything. I definitely don't think the older generation have taken enough care of it, and I don't think they. I don't think it's their fault really, because they didn't realise how much of an impact they'd make on the world. Now that they are educated, hopefully they will do more about it and hopefully my generation will do more about it as well because we seem to be more like scared because we've grown up with it thinking that the world could like end or could turn into a dystopia just because of climate change. I'm not naturally a pessimist but I think just looking at the, the figures and the facts it's happening so fast. I've seen the map which shows all the flood areas in London. I'm worried about the climate. I'm worried about the environment. We're on a fast track to destruction, really, aren't we? So, yeah, very worried about it, and I try and do my bit. 
my friend worked at the Thames Barrier. She moved out of the country actually because she she was pretty convinced that we were uh, it was oh, really? too late and that we were gonna <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's very doomsday-ish. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we'll have heard the worst of it. I think some of it is probably already happened or happening, the effects of which we can never kind of really quantify and it'll just get hotter or whatever it will get and we'll call it this, is, you know, we'll just either live or not. So I'm not terribly optimistic. Oh, yeah, that's quite, that is quite pessimistic. I think there's a lot to be thought of, but you know, that's what we, you know, in sort of vote for clever people to become. Well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> this should be the absolute first priority of every government, and it just isn't. Uh, it wasn't at the climate summit this year. There was more delegates from like the oil industry than from any other industry. So it's, <laughs> yeah. you know, I guess they have the money and the power to send people to all these like conventions and stuff to influence people, basically. Big corporations are really powerful, you know, money talks, doesn't it? People are taking more action, but I don't think governments are. They, they're just completely ignoring it. They don't know what it is to be like normal people that live in normal houses. Harris is now working, uh, getting gaining work experience as a filmmaker and a power station operative. How do we solve the climate crisis, do you think? Oh God, that's too much to be. <laughs> ask Greta. That's a big one. <laughs> ask Greta. And that's my daughter. My daughter, she's a teenager. Yeah, we need to think of an actual good, sustainable way to improve the world. I mean, like solar panels, that's actually a really good idea because of the sun. This obviously will help a lot because there'll be less strain on fossil fuels if we get more solar power. I think it's a great idea. Why doesn't every single roof have it? Every building, whether it's an office or a school or a house or apartment block or whatever it is. Yeah, just have them everywhere. Yeah. I'm an optimist, yeah. like our film company is called Optimistic Production, so I'm hoping <laughs> they will somehow <laughs> like come in together. Okay, so now my next question is, what do you think of... I don't of consider myself a pessimist. No. No, 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 it's all about the next generation, isn't it? I feel like we woke up a bit late because we were not educated about this mm -hmm. at time. Hopefully, by the time my girls will go, even I think at nursery, they're already talking about this. That means that in primary school, that will be so much in the education system. There will be so much awareness. So I want to be optimistic. Yes, I'm very worried about it. There are days when I try not to think about it <laughs> because it's, you know, but um, I'd much rather be doing something and, and working with the people around me to to try and fight it. Uh, bye. Inspirational. Oh well. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs> Have some okay, hope. You go. And that's bolstered by things like this. Stop from this area, the road we live in. Like you guys came along here, brilliant. That's what we need to do. Let's get together and let's exchange from each other and learn from each other and we can we can produce some good stuff. I think it's great and then definitely what more communities should be doing. It's really inspiring and it's some hope. From a green energy perspective, it's exactly what we should be doing. I think it's the right sort of response right now. On a macro kind of political level, we do need local answers. Doing something like this as a street feels like the right thing to do. I also just think more generally for the community of the street and the area, and these sorts of projects coming together to try and solve not just this challenge of, of being green with your energy and climate change, but more generally to come together and try and sort this stuff out. It's a great thing to be doing. Hey, it really is. It's real life, isn't it? Okay. It's been really lovely to meet all of you guys and also to get a sense of the project and, and actually to know that we've moved to an area where this sort of thing's happening. You know, that validates our choice to come and live in this sort of community. So, uh, yeah. um, okay. thanks for knocking on the door. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, well. What did you think of that, Hill? Great, it's nice, just not really nice to start to meet everyone like that. there's so many people's names to remember <laughs> i'm really bad at it if you're thinking of joining the membership um the link is membership.power.film forward slash enroll we now have a free option where you can still access all our um workshops uh and um you know and just really get to know us and watch all the short films and everything inside the membership for free um, obviously, uh, we also really appreciate it when people can pay. Uh, we've created a £5 tier, uh, we've got £12 and we've got £120 still as well. And those two higher tiers come with a call out, which is what I'm about to do now. And they also come with art. Uh, the 12 a month comes with art at the end of the 12 months. The 120 a year comes with uh, 
I wouldn't say immediate art because it takes a while for us to do all the packaging and everything. Uh, but uh, you know, within a week or so, you will get it. So, um, so here is the call out for tonight. Uh, we've got Angela Austin. Thank you for joining the Power membership. Dr. Bradley, um, thank you for joining. Nicholas Brooks, Benjamin Buist, Jenny Bush, Graham Charlie, Natasha Chetwood, Renato Simbalista, Matt Golding, uh, who joined maybe a few months ago. Thank you for joining. Uh, I know I haven't given you a shout out because we just haven't been doing the YouTube episodes. Um, Sock Puppets Granger, who's joined from Italy. Welcome. Um, Jay Hay, Fred Howge, Ian Holder, Gary Kennan, who's joined, Miranda Lewis, Vincent MacDonald, Marlena Minnes, uh, Alan Murray-Jones, uh, who joined a while ago, and thank you for joining, um, and, um, you know, really getting behind it, uh, and sorry for being slow to get your call out. Uh, Louise Pointer, Catherine Radley, Margaret Raw Rawbone, who is actually, has been a member for a while, but has um, renewed on, um, you know, and taken one of the higher value um, collections. So thank you very much. Uh, Ella Saltmarsh, uh, who has effectively joined uh, with Matt Golding. Thank you so much. Um, and, you know, we really appreciate it, uh, for everyone who's joining. Um, so thank you. Uh, we've got Camilla Sommer who's joined today, Jane Strange, who joined a month or so ago, Lucy Tether, who's joined in the last few weeks, uh, Sarah Tullock, who joined yesterday, um, and I think, uh, and um, Hager Vadstein, who joined this week, Alex Varley Winter, who joined a few weeks ago, and Alison Williams from our street. Thank you so much, all of you, for your support, for believing in power. We are now um, gearing up, as I say, to um, really push to raise a hundred thousand pounds in funding um, in the next 30 days so uh, as part of that we will be distributing a lot of YouTubes and uh, we'll be hoping lots of people will be joining uh, for free um, of course please do and share the link for people to join in free there's so much cool stuff happening in the membership um, that you know that would be really helpful just sharing where to join uh, so it's membership.power.film forward slash enroll. Join um, £12 a month, £5 a month, 120 a year. Uh, we have some amazing uh, UV kits at £500 and the £1,000 kits as well. Well, I say a kit, uh, collect, you know, uh, a set of framed um, banknotes, green banknotes. Do tune in for the next episode. Uh, we'll be shouting out more people, I hope. Uh, and I will use the email list of power members to let you know when these episodes are coming out. So do keep your eye on the emails. Um, that's it for tonight. Thank you again for watching and please do let one or even two friends know to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Upwards and onwards. Cheers.